guys, happy Wednesday. Okay, so on Monday we covered complimentary colors and then we had a little um, back view of uh, cool warm colors we talked a little bit about and then we also talked about primary colors and secondary colors. Um, okay, so you guys were asked to make just a little color wheel, just something so I know um, that you understood the lesson. Um, I think that's important for you guys to understand the color wheel before we even talk about complementary colors. Um, so just quickly, we'll go over that one more time. So primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Okay, and in order to get secondary colors, you use primary colors to create secondary colors. So for purple, um, purple, purple, purple. Let's see, the way you get purple is you mix um, red and blue and you get purple, okay? So green, the way you get green is you mix yellow and blue to get green, okay? And then orange, the way you get orange is you mix red and yellow to get orange. Perfect, okay, so that was easy, easy peasy. Okay, and then cool colors and warm colors. So cool colors, colors of blue, green, and violet, purple. Um, cool colors can also express mood. It can express how you feel um, more on like the sad side, okay? And then when you're discussing warm colors, warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. And warm colors are more um, expressing happiness and excitement, okay? All right, so then now we have our, get this out of the way, we have our color wheel. Okay, so complementary colors. So complementary colors are colors opposite of opposite of the color wheel. So they um, they complement each other. Okay. All right. So now we have green and red. Green and red are opposite each other on the color wheel. Okay. And then we have yellow and purple. Yellow and purple are opposite of each other. And we have blue and orange. Blue and orange are opposite of each other. Okay, so they help each other stand out and they're opposite of each other on the color wheel. All right, so now let's go ahead and discuss our assignment. Okay, so if you want to use construction paper, you can if you have it. Awesome, great, cool. If you don't and you want to use something else and you want to do a different approach, or maybe you have construction paper, but you want to do this another way. Okay. You can use white paper. That's an option too. I'm trying to get a piece of white paper out. Um, you can use white paper. So it's up to you however you want to do this. Um, so I have the um, complementary colors here. So I have orange and blue together. Okay. And then I have red and green together. And then I have yellow and orange together, okay? So I have all the complementary colors together here. Um, I thought this was funny. These are like totally Laker colors and this is totally Christmas colors. Hmm, coincidence? I don't know. Anywho, um, Okay, so what we're gonna do today, and I'm going to use my whiteboard because I want to show you first before I start creating. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put your hand out, and you're also gonna have your, a little bit of your arm too. I'm just gonna roll up my sleeves just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to position your hand and your arm in a certain way. Maybe you want your hand to look more, um, you know, curvy. Maybe you want it to be nice and flat. Maybe you want your hand to like show like the peace sign like that. And you just want to trace. It's up to you. However you want to do this. So I'm just going to do the basic tracing hand, tracing a little bit of my arm okay so what you're gonna do is you are, go you are going to color your hand one color you're gonna choose a pair okay so say you're gonna choose the purple and yellow okay maybe you're choosing the orange and blue 
Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're only gonna stick with these two colors. Maybe you want your hand to be colored in blue. Okay, I'm just writing in blue, but you would color in your hand blue and your background color would be orange. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully. So blue, hand, orange, background, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my pencil out. Now, if you don't have construction paper, you can always do this on white paper. So just trace your hand, a little bit of your arm, okay? And you're gonna use colors. So you're gonna color in your hand, okay? One color, and then you're gonna use the opposite color. Okay, um, color the background. Okay, it's up to you, whatever you like. So let's see, I guess I can use orange and blue. Okay, so I have my hand, my, my blue paper here, and this is gonna be for my hand and arm. As much arm as you can get in, it looks better, okay? Okay. So I am tracing my hand. And I'm gonna trace my arm too. Okay, can't really see it, but it is there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out my, mm, sorry guys, background noise. I'm gonna cut this out, okay? Good thing I'm cutting right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut it out very carefully. So just continuing cutting. And take your time, there's no rush. Okay, and I still see some pencil lines here, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue that part down so I don't see the pencil lines, and I'll show you. Okay, this is trash, I'm gonna throw that away. All right, so remember how, remember how I told you that there's pencil lines that I can see, I can still see, and I'm not gonna erase it. So I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm going to glue that part down. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my glue stick or just the white Elmer's glue, whatever you have handy. It is up to you. And I'm just gonna glue this down. Okay. And Make sure your arm is right all the way at the bottom of your paper and it is centered. So right in the middle. Okay, got some glue on. Okay. All right, I'm just kind of spreading it all out. Okay. So I have my handprint and a little bit of my arm down and I'm using my complementary colors so orange and blue because they complement each other and it looks nice um so if you wanted to do the lighter color for your hand and the darker color for your background that's an option totally up to you okay um so next what I want you guys to do is if you guys can put the year so you guys know when you made this, good old 2020, okay? Um, if you wanna put your name down, you can. It's up to you, that's an option. Um, okay, so that's how we're gonna do that one. And if you guys want to do the other one with the 
um, white paper, you can, okay? And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. But you're only doing one, okay? You don't have to do two. Not unless you just really want to, but you don't have to do two. You're only getting credit for one, okay? So same concept. I'm just going to trace my hand. on white paper. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I am going to color it in. So let's do purple and yellow now. If you wanna use crayon, you can. If you wanna use colored pencil, you can. It's up to you. I don't know if I have a violet uh, colored pencil. They all look black to me right now. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, and then yellow. If you want to use marker, you can. It's up to you. Okay, and then you're just going to color it in. Okay. And then just remember, you only need to do one. You don't need to do two. But again, if you just really want to do two, you can. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you no. Um, but you're only cred getting credit for one. Okay. Okay, so I am just outlining my hand first. And then I'm going to color it in. If you want to use markers, you can. If you want to use crayon, you can. Okay, it's up to you. I feel like um, colored pencils, they color faster. So that's why I chose colored pencils. And then maybe you guys wanna trace it in marker, that might look cool. I'm gonna to try to do that once this is all colored in. Okay, I'm gonna trace it in purple and see how this looks. I think this looks neat because you're covering your pencil line but it still looks cool, you know? <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna color my background yellow of course okay so this is going to take a lot more time so just you know outline it first and then just color it in so outline the border first
Okay, and then just color it all in. I'm not, um, like, coloring every single section in. There's still some white in there. And I'm just kind of coloring it. I'm not really taking... I'm not taking my time. I just want to show you guys quickly. It's another shade of yellow, but it'll do. Yes, it is. Man, I don't want to use that. Okay, so now that my pencil is sharpened, I'm going to go in and just try to cover in all those white spots that I was trying to not color in. So just going over, trying to uh, color in all those white spots. Okay, so just remember you only have to do one. Okay, you're only getting credit for one. So just decide which one you want to do. Okay, it is up to you. The same, please write the year. So you guys know when you make this, okay? And only use complementary colors, okay? So only use um, the one of three colors, one of three choices there, one of three pairs. So purple and yellow, blue and orange, or red and green. It is up to you, okay? All right, so there's both options there for you. Just choose one, whichever you wanna do. And I will talk to you.